Persians to the area of Babylonia. So who was in the Babylonian captivity that they might have read after? <coughs> they would have known the scriptures of Daniel. They would have had the and how and when we get to the time frame, we know that Daniel knew that the captivity was going to be 70 years. How did he know that? He obviously was reading the writings of somebody <coughs> else, Jeremiah. So if nothing else, they would have had the writings of Jeremiah and the writings of Daniel. Even if they did not have the entire Old Testament, they still would have had those prophetic writings stating that something was going to happen. So they would have been looking for the star through those Jewish writings. And all they had was something random. So we know that they had great faith to follow the star in the first place. Perhaps they would have known Balaam's prophecy. Would someone please read Numbers chapter 24 verse 17. Numbers 24 and 17.
spices and very much gold and precious stones. And when she was come to Solomon, she communed with him of all that was in her heart. So how, what did she bring to Solomon? Did she only bring a few? No. She brought a great carrot. Why? Because she was coming to visit a king. She was coming to bear homage to him. What about Isaiah 63 through 6? Isaiah 63 through 6. Because of the Holy Ghost 
whose works grew us. While we may be just clay and mortar, he is the one that brings life. He is the one that works through us to bring life. But we need to make sure that we are humble and submissive to the will of God. So how many times does the will of God get performed on earth? Probably very little. And it's simply because it's not that the Holy Ghost isn't willing. It's because we're not willing to be used. Because we're the ones who have to step out in faith. Because, well, if God doesn't do this, then I'm going to look like an idiot. If God doesn't, if my words don't flow just right, well, I'm going to look like an idiot. Right. This isn't going to go quite right. We need to get high degree and shame to God. If we don't do his call. Not necessarily Why? being ashamed, but we don't have the faith that we should have. For him to work through us. Because at the end of the day, he is the one that does the work. If you love the Lord, why would you well, why would you not do his calling her? Because sometimes human nature still creeps in. And you still get awkward, you still get shy, you still get fearful. I mean it's still there. It's a matter of overcoming, stepping out in faith. Just like the person who gives the tongues or interpretation. If we if we even go with the prophecy, it takes more faith to prophesy than it does uh, to have an interpretation because for the interpretation, tongues have already been given. For somebody to prophesy, he's stepping out in more faith because there's nothing really been there to set up to say, oh, this is the way it's going to uh, I should say, this is the way it's going to be, but the stage set the Holy Ghost definitely wants to move. He has to step out in faith. And sometimes the Holy Ghost is on him strong. Sometimes he's not on him strong. And then there's some times where he might give the prophecy and it, the Holy Ghost isn't upon him strong. He knows it's the word of God. He heard the word of God. He knows what God's spoken to him. And then there's other times where he doesn't have the feeling that the he knows the word of God. He knows that there's to be a prophecy. He doesn't feel the Holy Ghost on him strongly. But when he starts, the Holy Ghost just hits him. It's a matter of taking that step of faith. And it's not just the gifts. It's in every area of our life. Why would we come to church today? We came in faith to receive the word of God. That we may be transformed into this very image. We stepped out, came to church in faith, knowing that we're going to allow the Holy Ghost to work through us. We stepped out in faith, knowing that he's going to work on our hearts here. That we're going to be able to receive. It all comes down to faith. At this point in time, we're, we're going to close and prepare our hearts for service. Gracious Heavenly Father, we give you all praise and glory for everything you've done for us and shall continue to do. Lord, we thank you that your God who reigns on high and that there's none like you, Lord. Even right now, we rebuke every attack of the enemy that should come our way. We pray that you set your angels on the four corners of the property above and below, that no attack of the enemy may penetrate. I pray once again that our hearts and our minds will be plowed that they be good soil, Lord. For your word to follow, Lord, that we may remember throughout the week, Lord, but may we be like Mary and ponder these things in our heart. Even if we do not understand them, may we ponder them and seek for the Holy Ghost to reveal the meaning to us, that we may be even more transformed to your very image. Anoint the song leader as a, and the musicians as they praise you upon the string instruments and the vocal chords today. Anoint the uh, speaker today as they bring forth your word today. Anoint mine as lips that your words would flow forth. We ask all these things in the name of Jesus.